Welcome to Nextbrick's Display Series. Now this video covers options for displaying the various Game of Thrones sets that have been released through the years. Now even though only a single company has gotten the official license, which is Mega Constructs, several foreign markets made some fairly good Game of Thrones theme sets and figures, even though they weren't officially licensed, that I will be covering in this video to give a complete perspective on what's out there. Then, at the end, I'll show a battle scene created using elements from many of these sets. Let's get into it. First, let's start with the officially licensed Mega Constructs sets. These sets started to be released in 2019 towards the end of the show's run. There are 12 sets in total, and while many of them were easy to acquire, two in particular were only released in limited quantities into European markets, and are therefore very difficult to find. There was also a small minifigure series that was released that included a total of five figures. Let's go over these sets from smallest to largest. First, let's begin with the minifigure series. These series included the figures of Drogon, Daenerys Targaryen, Jon Snow, Eddard Stark, and Tyrion Lannister. Now for display options, you can use these figures in displays of some of your other sets, but truthfully, we already get all of these figures in other sets, with the exception of Eddard Stark, so the usefulness here is really limited. That being said, the outfits given to the four figures are different than the outfits that they have in the other sets, so at least there is some diversity there. Now there aren't any lighting options since they are just figures, and you can still find all these figures available on eBay for about $15 each these days. We next have a set of Daenerys' three dragons, Rhaegal, Viserion, and Trogon. Each consist of 30 pieces and no figures. Now in regards to display, about the only option to display these is as a set on a shelf together, and there really is no lighting option, sadly, for the three, considering their size and lack of places to hide wires. They can still be pretty easily found on eBay and Amazon for about $20 each. Now next, we have our first actual set, the Battle Beyond the Wall, coming in at 176 pieces. Now this set features three figures, Jon Snow with Longclaw and two White Walkers, one of which looks like the Night King. The display options here are quite limited as it's really just a shelf piece and lighting options are also limited, though you could add some light under that fire that you see there on that back wall for a fairly neat effect. Now you can get this set for about $25 currently on eBay. Winterfell Defense is our next set and it consists of 185 pieces including Jamie Lannister and his golden hand as well as a white walker with a horse. In regards to display options you can connect this to the larger Winterfell castle that we'll talk about shortly but there are sadly no real lighting options for this set. Now you can currently find this set on Amazon or eBay for around $50, but it is becoming more challenging to find. Now our next set is the Iron Throne, coming in at 260 pieces. Now this set features four figures, which include Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, Cersei Lannister, and the Night King. You can also change the sigil shown in the middle background to the houses of Stark, Lannister, Targaryen, or the Night King. All of the options are shown here in my pictures. Now in regards to display options, this is another shelf only piece, but it at least has the option of allowing you to customize who sits on the throne. Now for lighting options, you could always light up either of the flames on the sides that where the lanterns are, or the sigil in the middle from behind. But due to the small size of the set, it will be difficult to hide the wires and the light may be overpowering for its small size. Now you can find this set right now very readily on Amazon or eBay for only $20. Now the next two sets are small scale sets of two of the most prominent locations in Game of Thrones. The first is Castle Black. This set was released in very small quantities in Europe only and is hard for people in the United States to get their hands on. Now it consists of 307 pieces and no figures. It largely sits on the shelf just by itself which limits its display and lighting capabilities. You know, if you want to get your hands on one of these, you can occasionally find them on eBay for around $90. Now its counterpart, the next set, is the Red Keep, and it's much easier to come by in the US. Now it consists of 334 pieces and no figures, and just like with Castle Black, 
has limited display and lighting potential, but you can pick one up for as cheap as $25 off of Amazon or eBay at this time. Next, we have Ice Viserion Showdown, our first medium-sized dragon. Now, he consists of 492 pieces and the Jon Snow figure. In regards to display options, you can perch it on a shelf like you see me doing here, have it as a part of your battle scenes, or suspend it from the ceiling to make it appear as if it's flying. Now I'll show an example of this later on in the video to give you an idea of how to pull it off. In regards to lighting options, there sadly really aren't any due to the shape of this dragon, and you can still locate it on Amazon or eBay for about $60 if you want to pick one up. Now our next set is the only ship covered in our sets today, and it's Daenerys Targaryen's warship. Now it includes 723 pieces, and comes with Daenerys herself, Tyrion Lannister, and two Unsullied. Now since there aren't any other ships, it makes the play and display possibilities for this set quite limiting. However, it does look quite nice on a shelf with the Targaryen sails being displayed. You can pick up one of these sets for close to $100 on either Amazon or eBay. Now the next set is one of my favorites. It's Daenerys and Drogon. It consists of 735 pieces and comes with Daenerys as a figure to ride Drogon. Even though this set is the same size and scale as the dragon in the Ice Viserion Showdown, it has almost 250 more pieces, which gives this dragon far more detail than his blue counterpart. In regards to display options, you are left with the same that you had with Viserion when you can perch him on a shelf, use him in a battle scene, or suspend him from the ceiling. Now you can still pick this set up inexpensively for only about $40 on Amazon or eBay. Now the final set is easily the best in the series and also the hardest to get your hands on. It was only released in very small quantities in Europe and getting it in the US can be very difficult and cost upwards of $200. It includes 2,108 pieces and 6 figures. Three of them are Nightwalkers and the other three are Jon Snow with Ghost along with Sansa and Arya Stark. Now the castle includes many detailed areas and can be displayed in several configurations depending on how much room you have to take up. It also pairs well with the Winterfell defense set to continue the look even further. The set provides a great location for the setting of a battle and is one of the few sets that has a good amount of play value and display value. That being said, due to its open nature, its lighting options are limited. If you can find one available on Amazon or eBay, consider yourself lucky and grab it as it's really one hard to find set. Now that's going to be it for the Mega Construct sets, and normally that would be all for this video, but I have a handful of other sets to show you that are some of the most intricate sets yet. Now these sets were not officially licensed, so they can be hard to get your hands on, but they are much closer to Lego bricks and figures than the Mega Blocks counterparts that we just took a close look at. So they had a strong appeal to me, let's go ahead and take a look why. The first set is another take on the Iron Throne. This one consisting of 1,146 pieces and a single figure of Daenerys Targaryen. It's a much more detailed throne than our Mega Block set, and the stairs leading up to it is a nice touch, but it's still really only a shelf set with limited display and lighting options. If you want to get one for yourself, you need to locate it on AliExpress, currently selling for around $50. Now the next set is another take on Winterfell Castle. This one consisting of 2,217 pieces and 12 minifigures, which include all of the main characters from the show, including Brandon, Arya, and Sansa Stark, Jon Snow, Cersei, Jaime, and Tyrion Lannister, Daenerys Targaryen, Bran of Tarth, Littlefinger, Bronn, and Tormund, Giant Spain. Now in regards to display options, this is the ideal location to hold a battle as it is with the other Winterfell set, though this one is sized more appropriately for Lego sized figures. Now it's open in the back, just like the Mega Constructs White Gate set. This is once again removing any options you have for lighting the set. Now that being said, there is a tremendous amount of detail that they have worked into the interior, including the tree and tomb area. If you have any interest in getting the set, you will need to look to AliExpress, and we'll be spending roughly $100 to get it to you. Now this brings us to our final two sets, which are both huge dragons that are some of our best detailed sets yet, and are best for display. Now both of these sets consist of 1,889 pieces, and it's once again the dragons of Drogon and Viserion after he's been turned that we have here. 
Now Viserion comes with the Night King, and Drogon comes with a figure of Daenerys Targaryen. Now due to the massive size and diameter of nearly 40 inches that each of these dragons is, they are best hung from the ceiling to be displayed once they are constructed as otherwise they just take up too much shelf space. I will also point out that these are very challenging to build. The connection points for the wings especially are very hard to work with, as are the hard metal wires that make up much of the neck and tail. All that being said, once they are finally together, they are the best displaying sets out of the bunch, especially when hung from the ceiling as you're seeing here. Now if you want to pick up one of these dragons for yourself, you can get them currently off of Amazon or eBay for roughly $80 each. Now you can also purchase large quantities of minifigures from AliExpress to make Game of Thrones battles with. Stark, Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Night's Watch, and even White Walkers can be purchased. Now I picked up a few sets of figures so that I could put together a medium sized battle and even though I did accomplish the task, I realized just how many more figures would be needed to make a proper scene. For this last part of the video, I'll just stop talking and show the pictures of the scene that I created. Enjoy. Game of Thrones display options. I hope you found that helpful. Now if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this content, please be sure to click the subscribe button under the video and the bell icon next to it to be notified when my future videos are released. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy out there.